Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Yale number 50-1824-6009-025. This is a replacement thumb turn only. This is for the... For, this is for a door that's inch and three quarter to two inch thick. And this would be used on an escutcheon trim. This is the 025 finish, and according to Yale, 025 is equal to 626. However, I would say that this is, you know, that's not yeah. 626. That's more compatible to satin nickel. So they may use an 025 designation for the finish when they're doing 619 satin nickel or if they're doing 630 stainless steel, or if they are doing um, 626. Okay, let's take some dimensional properties of this item. And there is a link below this video to a document called Parts Drawing, and you can see in the catalog the two pages that it does occur in. Part seven. This is going to be used on the CN or the SL trim. Yeah, it's part seven on both of those pages. Uh, basic dimensional properties. Overall height of the thumb turn, about an inch and three quarter. The width of the thumb turn is 0 .566, 0 .566. The key stock size in it is on a diamond, as you can see. 0 .212. Not exactly square, but pretty close. 0 .212 by 0 .204. And the overall length... from the underside of the shoulder of the thumb turn is point one, pardon me, 1.293. 1.293 from here all the way over to here, okay? Now what is not clear is how they're retaining that thumb turn on the trim. There must be a C-clip that's holding that in. It is not included with this. There, and it's not a Timmerman nut that you can see on the second page holding in the back of the, I believe that would be called a Timmerman nut or a push-on fastener. Going to need some sort of a C-clip. It's obviously prepped to receive a C-clip in two different places. It's going to be dependent on the thickness of the trim, obviously. So be mindful that part is not included, nor is it called out in the drawing. I will uh, put a message to the manufacturer and find out, you know, if they have a part for that. And if we do, we'll update the extended description of the uh, material. The 025 and the part number is the finish. That's what FIN stands for. So then you define the finish. And you could just use a BHMA code for that because 025 is not a BHMA code, but they'll be able to convert your requirement of 626, 619, 630 if it's available in stainless to the proper internal part number that they would require. If you have any questions on the Yale 50-1824-6009-025 replacement thumb turn or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all the Yale products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as link to the full product catalog and some quite archival, uh, quite old archival catalogs that are that are there. Yale has been actively manufacturing locks for more than 150 years and the modern pin tumbler cylinder was invented by Linus Yale Jr. Um, technology that we use every single day in our lives, all of us, uh, is by the founder of this company. Any questions or any other uh, concerns about this Yale thumb turn, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.